My name is Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to express a disappointment, disturbance, and condemnation for the restriction of the movement for the right honorable first deputy speaker of our National Legislative Assembly. And we have seen presentation of evidence that are conflicting about the purpose for the restriction of the right honorable deputy first speaker. And this mounted as a violation of civic and political space that we have been talking about. As a citizen, with due respect and honor, we would like to urge you, our leaders, at your various capacities, that some of your actions is clearly telling us that you have high deficit in trust and confidence for working together to transition the situation of our country from instability to stability. Some of your actions is telling us that very clear that you don't care about our safety and security because you like to trigger tensions and misunderstanding that again may lead to another violence in the country. All these actions are making us losing trust and confidence for your leadership, for your actions, for your intentions, for your purpose of being leaders at your various capacity in various public institutions. For how long do you want us to shout and to cry and to plead and to beg you because we are continue suffering and we are continue facing hardships because of your political grievances or differences that you have among yourselves? We are taking this opportunity to appeal to you as the leaders that you have the high opportunity to repair your deficit in trust and confidence, to regain and to renew your political pledge being leaders that you want to take this country to a stable situation through the political transitional process at access. And this incident is the first immediately after the gained extended two years for the transitional period. It is disturbing. We are asking you, our leaders, whatever deficit in trust and confidence you have, let it not be a source of making us panic let not be a source that will send us back to IDP scam, to refugee scam. Let not be a source that will give us feel as if we are not South Sudanese. As if we have other people who are South Sudanese and others are not South Sudanese. Please, we are appealing to you, try to sort out your differences in a manner that keep the country peaceful and stable and make citizens have trust and confidence on your leadership that will transition the country from violence to peace. Thank you very much. I would like to welcome all the media houses to the headquarters of National Security Service, uh, Internal Security Bureau. And today we are going to issue a press release on the accusation of having blocked the revitalized transition National Legislative Assembly first deputy speaker from traveling abroad and all of you have seen the data being circulating on the social media. Uh, the National Security Service Internal Security Bureau has received news of a large obstruction of revitalized transitional National Legislative Assembly first deputy speaker, right, Honorable Oyed, Natali, Perine, a news that does not mirror the mandate of the service, which is the Internal Security Bureau. As a matter of necessity, the National Security Service is mandated under Section 13 3 of the National Security Act 2014 to maintain security, protect the Constitution, national social fabric, and safety the people of South Sudan from any internal or external danger. In this respect, the security and the safety of the airports, travelers, and most especially of the post constitutional holders is the role of the service. And this implies that any government officer or constitutional post holder, whether being senior or junior, will avail their travel permission from their respective institution to airport security controllers. This guarantees official knowledge of the government employees traveling manifest, especially in the event of security and safety breach that may arise. 
Ladies and gentlemen, however, right honorable Oyed Natali do not obey his official traveling permission or leave from revitalized Transitional National Legislative Assembly and instead provided a document signed by him, a document which was signed by him, the first deputy speaker. In his capacity as the first deputy speaker of the Argos House, permitting himself a leave permission. This document was received by the airport security agents and scrutinized and found out to have been a self-permitted leave solid signed by him and according to the procedures and channels of the permission or leaves understood by the security organs operating within the house. All such documents are solid, written and signed by the Speaker of the Revitalized Transitional National Legislative Assembly, who is constitutionally vested with powers to oversee the daily activities of the National Parliament. So the act of the National Member of Parliament conducted by issuing a self-proclaimed leave is unilateral and an act of insubordination that is meant to undermine the authority of the Assembly or the administration of the Speaker of the Argos House, of which it is punishable by the law and equally portrays lack of acquaintance with the revitalized transitional national legislative assembly rules and regulations as well as the national security act 2014 ladies and gentlemen on the other hand the decision by the first deputy speaker to go rampage on the social media labeling the national security service and the director general of the institution general about court coach that infringe fundamental human rights and freedom of movement of the people across the country is unlawful and does not reflect the mission and vision of the service, which is the ISB. Therefore, the National Security Service calls upon the public to treat such behaviors as undermining of authority and an act of subordination that is meant to divert the public attention negatively towards Director General of Internal Security Bureau and the institution of the ISB. Thank you.